Hi, Alexi here. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to create a simple program in Pack Control. I encourage you to follow along. No hardware is required to do this example, and you can download all the software for free. You'll need Pack Control Basic as well as Snap Pack Sim, the controller simulator. I've already downloaded, installed, and run Pack Control Basic. To get started, I'll select File, New Strategy. For this example, I'll navigate to my desktop, create a folder called Hello World, navigate to that folder, and then I'll name the strategy Hello World. I'll click Open. Here on the left is the strategy tree where you'll find folders for all the elements in the strategy. I'll double click the one called String Variables. I don't have any string variables yet, so I'll click the Add button. I'll name it my string. If I try to click OK at this point, I get a message telling me I need to give the string a width. For starters, I just want to tell the world hello, so 50 should be more than enough. I can give the string an initial value. I'll type hello world. Notice that Pack Control will initialize the string when I run the strategy. You'll see how this works in just a bit. I'll click OK then close. Now this strategy doesn't have any logic yet, but that's okay because all I want to do is to initialize a string variable. But I do need to load the strategy into a controller or alternatively a control engine simulator. To configure one, I'll double click control engines. This is a brand new strategy, so the list is blank. I'll click add to see a list of control engines that have been configured on my PC. There are none of those, so I'll click Add to configure one. I'll name it My Simulator. Because I'm using the Snappack Sim, I use the special loopback IP address of 127.0.0.1. This means loop back and talk to the same device, which makes sense since Snappack Sim is running on the same PC as Pack Control. If you're using an actual Snappack controller, you would just enter the controller's IP address here instead. I'll click OK. Now I have my new control engine in this list. I'll select it for my strategy and click OK, then click OK again. My strategy is ready to download and debug, but I need to have the control engine running first or I'll get an error. I've already downloaded the free controller simulator, Snappack Sim. I'll start it by double-clicking on the file. If you get a security warning, go ahead and click Run. The Snappack window comes up, showing that it's running. I can minimize this because there's not much to see. Just don't close it or you won't have a control engine. Back in Pack Control, I'll click Debug and save the strategy. This Power Up Clear Expected message just tells us that no other software has communicated with the control engine since it powered up or started. I'll click OK, then click Yes to continue downloading the strategy. If you look at the buttons at the top, you'll see Debug is now lit, indicating we're in debug mode. You might also notice the buttons on the toolbar have changed. Now I'll expand the control engine folder and then double click on my control engine. There's a bit of information about the controller in this top section and information about my strategy here. Let's go ahead and close this. Now let's take a look at our string variable. I'll expand the string variables folder and double click my string. It's blank because I haven't run the strategy yet. When I click the run button here, my string becomes hello world, success. In just a few steps, we created a new strategy, configured a control engine, and created and initialized a string variable. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.